one, hire the right people for your, for your safety experts. Make sure that they are experts in not just in safety, but in your particular organization. Our organizations are vastly different. So I have, we all have risk. A armored brigade with 70 ton tanks running at 70 miles an hour has different risks than I have with 12 helicopters and guys rappelling down the sides of mountains. Both are risky. They probably want to hire a guy who's maybe a master gunner, who has a lot of experience in the armor community, who's got experience, you know, operating around tanks. I want to hire a guy who's a jump master, who's got a ranger background, who's familiar with what the students go through, who understands the physical stresses and strains that the course puts on them. He understands how tired they are, and that, that, it, that equates to its own risk, the level of exhaustion. He's got to understand that. So first is hire the right people for the right job. Um, they probably wouldn't want my ranger guy over there, and I'm sure, I probably wouldn't want their tank guy over here only because of what we understand about the types of training we do. So you want to have, make sure you have experts, not just in safety, but in what type of unit they're, they're watching. Um, <clears throat> and then two is just, you have to understand as, as far as ch chances out there. You, you want to mitigate risk, but you have to understand chance, the, the danger is always out there. What we do is inherently dangerous, and you just want to do everything possible to reduce the risk, understanding we still have a job to do, which is to train soldiers to go to war and do something that is inherently dangerous, which is shoot at other people while they shoot at them. That is that is dangerous. So you just got to, you, you got to, but it is just training. So that's a proper approach also.